folks, it's Son of Feast here. Welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. For the second round, is almost complete. We only have two games left in between the Bolts and the Bruins and Avalanche vs. Wilds. For today's game on Tuesday night, it's about to be happening here. The first game will be the Bolts and the Bruins. Then following along with the second game, we will send you down to the other side as we have the Nuggets playing against the Clippers at Mile High. That'll be the next game after this hockey matchup is over. Now it's a win or go home for the Tampa Bay. If they lose and the Bruins wins, then they're moving on to the next round. To face against the Carolina Hurricanes. Now, let's find out who will win this part of the semifinals of the Atlantic Finals Division in order to move on in the final four of the Stanley Cup playoffs. That's right, it's in between the two from Atlantic and Metropolitan and along with Central and Pacific. Now, let's get the game started. Jay and Greg are, are standing by. Let's take them over here. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the fifth game of the first game tonight. Let's get going. He's first assist here by number three, uh, 13, Darren Crunchy. And by number 28, Harry Eastman Holm. Time to go, 14-22 remaining in the first period. With four, eight shots on goal for the Boston Bruins. And Tampa Bay Bolts with only five, six shots on goal. 
with a time and a goal in possession here for David Pasternak. 15, oh, 15, 15 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Woo! Game of the 
this point. Tampa Bay's won the draw in the lead. Misses over the net. Picked up along the board by Sterling. Butler's on a play. We have a face-off coming up. Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. The Bruins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a short pass to Bertuzzi. Skates to the crease. And that goes off, close off the body. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Colton. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. That's a really good save. I think the goalie's probably surprised he was dead center and open to shoot that puck. And there's a shot. Tries to make a diagonal pass to Chanel. Reaches out and uses the stick. The Bruins move it in. Right on Main Street and on the attack. The Bulls will play against the Bulls. Only a minute remaining in the first period of the game. Through pass ahead. Boston's game possession along the boards. Stop on the board and getting a piece of that one. Made the save on the play. Vasilevsky's going to smother him to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway.
One of the keys to the game is having an excellent specialty. This is the first power play tonight. Two minute penalty number 77, Victor Hedman for holding. Time of the penalty, 11.39 remains remaining in the second period. For the Bruins! And their power play! Tampa Bay goal, his 28th, his 18th goal in the playoffs, scored by number 71, Anthony Sorelli. His first assist here by number, sorry, by number 11, Sherry Marilyn Furbix, and by number 72, Brandon Hagel. Tampa Bay goals, 11.45, remaining in the second period of the game. Tampa Bay Bolts with 9 shots on goal, and the Bruins with 14 shots on goal for the Bruins. Anthony Sorelli with the goal, 8-15 remaining in the second period for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Oh! 
Bruins cradling the boards. But flipped it away. A nice defensive use of the stick there. Late goings of this period. We got a tie game. Boston's won the draw. Tampa Bay goal is eighth goal in the playoffs, scored by number 38, Brandon Hagel. His first assist here by number 50, uh, number 91, Steven Semkos, and by number 23, Norman Fermitz. Time of the goal, 18:09 remaining in the second period. Fourth, 15 shots on goal period for Tampa. 22 shots on goal for Tampa, and 23 shots on goal for Boston. One minute remaining in the second frame of the period. With their only moving Hagel score at 9 for 42 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Just a quick reminder for all of you guys for our announcement. As I will be doing another uh, part of this game, I will be doing another one to do a, right in insistent to try to give it a thoughts for you guys. Who do you think will win the whole thing for the finals? And uh, what your prediction for, for the 2K Sports? Because right now we've already seen that it looks like the Nuggets and the Heat are the prediction for the NBA Finals of 2023. And I'm thinking that on the other side could be the Vegas Knights and the other team of the Florida Pampers, probably the wild card team against the number one C team. Hmm, this could be a little bit interesting right here. What do you guys think? Do you agree? Let your thought, let me, let me know in your thoughts down in the comment box below. If not, well. Think of which uh, team do you want to think who want to go into the prediction of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals and the NBA Finals of 2K23. Well, not this game, but on, on real TV for 2023. But for 2K23, we'll let you know who will be in the finals. And your time is to pick which one you want to pick who will win the whole thing. in the 2K23 of the NBA and the NHL that will be in, in this part of the game. So we'll let you know as soon as we can and we get into the conference finals. So once the second round's over, then we head into the conference finals. Anyway, tomorrow night will be the Avalanche and the Wilds at Excel Energy Center. And as you may have already been noticing, the Wilds are definitely are taking a look at the answer back if they're going to get a win. Well, hopefully, you're going to say, what could go wrong? To what model 
will they do for us? We'll try to see what happens with their team, if they can get it through. Anyways, this comes down to the third period. Who will take the win? Will it be the Bolts or the Bruins? It's the decision. Let's get it on to finish the period. Guys, it's all yours. the 
Still got a lot of time right now. Boston are trying to look for a tie in this game. Hangs on for the 
so a critical draw here offense his own face off and he wins the draw take a team feed on the blue line makes it look easy with the stop shots on goal for, for the Bruins and 35 shots on goal for Tampa Bay. Brad Marchand having his goal with 109 remaining in a Stanley Cup playoffs. Woo! Under a minute remaining in the third period of the fray. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, the moment you've been waiting for for game number five is a toughest matchup in Atlantic Division between the Bolts and the Bruins. The clash the clash zone from the Bruins Bear and to the other side of the Lightning Clash in between with the Thunderbolt or the T-Bolt for sure. You never noticed that it was going to be coming out like that. But this next goal is going to be a win to get in to the conference finals. If not, then a game will win to race on to head into game six back at Tampa Bay. There might not be anybody saluting it already because this is very, very gonna uh, stound you down. No, it is not. <laughs> but, well, it's not what everybody really wants to get there. So don't let anyone try to like get over this and figure out that, oh yeah, we're going to make this one win and countable. Well, you're never going to know what's going to happen now. Because of this moment, it's going to get very that tough. On a speculated run, you may not know what will happen. So don't get yourself so uncomfortable if you're looking at it. It's going to be a tough one that everyone's going to see. And to pressure it, you'll never know how this will get there. Because of that moment, it's gonna be a it's gonna be it. Let's find out how will they do. Here we go. Overtime is on. Jay Greg, all yours. Thank you. 
The Bruins win the faceoff. That's blocked. Charles got it along the boards. Two minute penalty for Boston for slashing. Two minute penalty for Boston Bruins, number 13, Tra Charlie Coyle. Time of penalty, 12 33 remaining in an overtime period for slashing. We're to Tampa Bay power play.
Last man remaining in the overtime period of the fray. Second overtime period presented by Adidas. Now this is what nobody has ever seen in that the Bolts and the Bruins are doing this at the same time. But as you may have already have noticed, there are the tough teams to be watching each other. You might find out who will win the next one. Well, get your cameras ready because this replay is going to keep on happening like that. You're never going to know what's going to be, so it looks like... Once this comes along, you will find out who will win this part of the game. And now we can get back over to Jay and Greg to start for the second overtime period. I'll be back waiting for the next part of the game to be to be determined to get it. Let's do it. players to the game. The third star we're going to start is Jake DeBrus. That's when his goal comes in for the second overtime and win it all. Long with assists and two hits. Second star, Andre Vasilevsky, 62 saves, 2.23 percentage of his average. And then the first star, we gave it off to Linus Olmark, 57 saves. And here's how they did with the total statistics of the game and how the combination is up to. 65 shots on goal for Boston, 
and 59 for Tampa Bay Bolts. 33 hits for Tampa and 37 for Boston. 826 for a timeout attack for Boston over 755. 90% passing for the Tampa Bay, along with 88 for Boston. And it was 25 faceoff wins for Tampa and 31 for Boston. Two minute penalty kills was being reduced from the regular period and overtime period before the second overtime period at the start. They never saw what was going to happen because this was very that tough. There was no power play goals right at this moment. So it seemed like nobody got that power play right away. And that should be it. Well, I know it's a little disappointing here to get a power play goal, but don't worry. There will be next game tomorrow night if it happens to be a occurrence in between a Wild and Avalanche. So now, the Bruins wins the series over Tampa Bay, and they struck him down. Because now, Tampa Bay is finished. Boston Bruins are playing against the Carolina Hurricanes in a conference semifinals to the finals of the Eastern Conference. We'll see how well they do to keep it, the run right at their lining. And we'll keep your eyes tuned here for the Western Conference and Eastern Conference of the Celtics and the Cavaliers. That'll be the next one to find out what will happen. Anyway, we'll be back with the next game. Denver Nuggets and the Clippers of Game 5. If you're tuning us here, that's great. 9.30 p.m. is the sharpest time here for a mile high. So you don't want to miss that one out. Find out who will take it from here. Anyway, thank you for all watching for this video. And peace out to everyone for a while. As the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. We'll see you all again tomorrow night for another game after basketball. Take care, folks. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.